Hey guys, this is Vince from Mannequins by Day. I'm here with In The Stew to show you a free Max for Live device that I've put together that is kind of helping us perform. So the device is called Launcher. And basically what it does is if you're using a MIDI device that has a fixed note output, um, so something like this guy, the MPD or um, an SPDX or SPDS or whatever, um, and you want to be able to use it to trigger clips rather than just be able to um, launch instruments on a drum rack. Um, there's no way to do it without this device. So we're using it in the scenario where basically we have songs on different chains, and then you know each song has its own set of like backing track clips. So the way this works, basically you put the launcher device on a control track and then you set it up to say okay how many MIDI notes uh, do I want to detect from the controller that I'm, I'm using in, in this case I've got eight clips so I just have eight um, what is the track that the first pad is going to be triggering and in this case it's two zero one two um, what clip slot do I want to um, be triggering uh, in this case, it's one. Uh, that's not zero indexed. And then, or it is zero indexed, sorry, zero, one. And then uh, what's the lowest note value that I want to start detecting from this uh, controller? And then you can configure that by hitting this button and detect it and then pressing a button. So I want this to be the lowest note and then uh, it'll just show up there. And then, so what this does basically is if I'm on this chain, and I want to trigger these clips, I can just basically be on this chain and then press this button and it will, you know, trigger the clips, which gives me all the advantages of having the like Ableton clip system. And then if I want to switch songs, um, right now I just have it mapped to uh, different keys, like one, two, three, four on the keyboard. Um, so I can switch chains and you can map that with whatever you want. But then when I switch chains and hit the same buttons, it triggers a different set of clips, which means that I can use the same controller and uh, just switch chains on my control and just have this whole clip view loaded with different song clips. And it'll allow me to kind of move between songs without having to do anything crazy. Uh, and then you can you know, reset the BPM or whatever you want to do. Um, the other thing that this features is there is a little uh, configuration here. So um, let's say I have a you know a drum rack or something on this. I can configure basically you know which pads I want to go through and launch these clips, uh, and you know which I might just want to have the MIDI just go through without launching the clip. So if I turn this one off, for example, and then try to hit this first button. Um, oh, I gotta be on the right, the right chain here. So let's say I turn this off and then hit that first button. It won't go through, but all the other ones will. So if I turn that back on, it'll go through. Um, and then the MIDI also goes through into uh, this next set of the chain. So if I put some kind of like drum rack on here, let me just put a 808. Um, it will also still trigger things. Basically. So, yeah, there it is. And I hope you guys find some use from this because it's cool for me. Have a good one.